Hi all, I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mods, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, you might hear in the modelling community about people making mods, or a mod to something. And that's just basically taking a part of a model and making it better or appeal better. So I thought I'd share a few tips and tricks of how to go about this. And I'm going to be doing this on the Build the X-Wing. So what I'm about to show you is just some ways you can go that little bit extra and create a better model. So let's have a look at what we're going to do. Right, so what we're going to actually look at, we're going to look at the instrument lighting on the control deck of the cockpit. Now in the model, there is going to be a light that goes underneath that's going to shine through this and at the moment they're probably going to shine white or clear. Let's have a quick look at what that does. Let me get my phone out and turn the light on. I'll just turn this light off here. Might be a bit bright but I don't know if you can see that very well. But uh, I'm going to try and get that in front of the camera. No, that's really rubbish. I need a darker light. But what some people are doing is they're actually making these a different colour. Some are making them flash. And people who know how to do that, you must be gods because I wouldn't even know where to start. So what we're going to do, we're just going to take the panels back out of the instrument. And there we have, we have two panels. Okay. Now, what I normally do is so they don't move around because, you know, you know, like that. I get a bit of blue tack and I stick them on to some blue tack. Like that. That's the first one. Now, these two panels are actually symmetrical on the build. So, I've got them in a way where I can sort of make sure that the things are going to be symmetrical. Okay, so if you can sort of see that, I know this lighting is not the best. So if I turn that off, can we see? Yeah, there's the panels on the blue tack. Okay, switch the light back on. Okay, so how do we make these pop out a bit more? What we're going to do is we're going to paint them. Okay. Now, we don't just go and get any old paint like these, these enamel colours or anything like that. What we're actually going to use is a paint that is the same price and you can get in most good model shops or online. And that is lacquer paint and this one is clear red. Um, for all the people who really want to get this one, this is an LP52 and it's a Tamiya uh, paint. And I've also... Got an orange here as well. That is an X26 clear orange. And again, it's a Tamiya colour. It's an acrylic paint, but it's very much different. It's a clear colour. So you can imagine um, colouring like glasses and stuff with paints. This is similar to what they use. Now, one thing I must stress with this, it does take a bit longer to dry than the other paints so I will stress to you it takes about 12 to 18 hours to dry it's not a quick paint to dry but it's superb so what we can do is we can actually paint the top of these panels in these colors and when the light shines through them they're gonna be the color that you've painted them so what I would do is get a very, very small ended paintbrush. Okay, that's got a very sort of point on there. If I could get one smaller, I would, because this is going to be fiddly. But if you just dab a little paint, I'm just taking some off the roof there. Okay, and we have two buttons at the top, so we're just going to paint them that colour. Okay, same on the other side. And We've now painted them that colour. You don't have to go nuts with it, okay? You don't really need to do the sides of them because it's the tops that are going to be showing through the bits of plastic here, okay? So let's uh, see. We've got 
a three down here so what we'll do is we'll paint this now you can get all different types of colors you can get blues uh, yellows I actually got these paints with my Hummer and that is the reason why I'm using them okay so we've got them two bits up there now notice on this piece here this has an extra bit so I'm going to paint that extra bit red as well and then hmm maybe this side red as well okay now I am going to make two one one or two of the lights still clear so I'm not going to paint them this is up to your own personal preference though okay if you if you want to keep them clear keep them clear if you want to do them a different color different color if you really want to do the individual lights different colors then go for it so the one other thing about these paints is they don't uh, clean in thinners as well as other paints do acrylic paints um, I don't know whether it's something in the compound but you really have to give it a good clean which is what I'm trying to do here and then get some paper and give it a right good wipe now I've been doing a bit of research and pictures of the uh, cockpit and a lot of the color there wasn't much blue there was a lot of red involved in it um, so that's why I've gone a little bit nuts on the red so next I've got this nice orange one so let's open up this let's give it a good shake I would like to give them a good shake before I use them plus the fact what happens is you end up getting paint on the roof and it's easier to get out of there in a smaller quantity than it is from the actual bottle itself okay and same again just and then we've got these three in the middle so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint them in the middle same with this them in the middle now you can paint this again um, the more you paint it I think the more darker the color is going to be so I'm pretty happy with that to tell you the truth and it does look not too bad I've got a little bit of excess the problem is I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to painting I'm um, I'm terrible for making sure things are in lines and everything else like that so, so just a bit of pitch and roll just mop up that bit down there but like I said you don't need to go nuts because some parts of these will be uh, they won't even be showing anyway so there we have the instrument panel the lights are now going to be a bit different I've kept this one on the end here and this one on the end here I've kept them clear um, so they'll come through as a white but it just adds that little bit of an extra um, edge to your model plus the fact it's uh, you're customizing your own model as well so you know you're making it your own some people I want to be as authentic to the movie as possible and then we have some people who um, yeah would go out of town I remember the R2D2 there was this one fella that uh, he uh, he he did away with the app and he got his own remote control unit and he did some absolute fabulous mods from the r2d2 to as far as smoke coming out well like you see in uh, empire strikes back and the the little uh, circular saw coming out and he did some amazing mods he really just went to town on his i'd love to be able to do stuff like that but it's beyond my knowledge um i'm sure there's ways of researching this but wow uh yeah his was amazing he did never use this from the app but yeah um if you're building the r2d2 there is a facebook site and it is on there also if you're building the x-wing there is an official diagostini 
build the X-Wing site as well. Um, that's got some handy tips and tricks, tips and trips, tricks and tips, should I say. Okay, so head over to that as well. You will find social media and YouTube and things invaluable when you're doing these things because they do really show you the ways that it can be done or different ways of doing it. So that's my little mod I thought I'd show you. I'm probably going to do a few more videos um, as we progress through this build. Um, and I'm hoping that I might be able to get some done on the DeLorean. What I'm going to do with them now is I'm going to leave them. And then tomorrow what I'll do is I'll do a little short video which will come on after this video. And it'll show me just putting them back into the plastic and I'll try and get a better light to shine underneath to sort of show you the difference that it's made. Um, and then, yeah, when we get more instrument panels, we can maybe look at some more different colours. Like I said, I've only just used the orange and the red um, that, I got with, uh, that I got from my home because I just have them to hand. And I thought, wow. And these are phenomenal. I mean, you can paint on glass with these, put candles in them. They are really good. And they are more or less the same price as normal paint. So it's, it's, it's a no-brainer, really. So... Next video you'll see coming on after this one uh, will be uh, the next day with these all done, okay? And then, we'll, like I said, we'll try and shine a light through them and you can see the difference. Okay, guys, so I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for now. Bye. Right, guys, it's next day. These have been drying for about 20 hours now. So what we're going to do is we're going to bob them back in. Um, looking at it, it actually just needed the one coat which is good okay so we're just gonna pop these bits back in let's make sure we get the right one so this one goes back in here I remember how fiddly these things were to get in actually but uh, yeah need a bit like that again never mind just line it up push it down and then I just push it in with my flat headed screwdriver and then this one okay just make sure we line it up push it down and there we go now you might not see on here i'll try and look, go closer that looks pretty pretty good let's try and do it with this one i don't know if you can see the colors in there but these are what we've done, the orange and the reds and stuff. And that looks really, really good. I'm actually quite impressed with that. How that's worked. So let's just move this bit to blue tack. And we'll see if we can get a light underneath it. So I'll try and use my phone. Let's just turn the main camera off. Sorry, the main light off. And... They look really good. In fact, I mean, it's not very good on this camera, but um, because of the light, my phone light is very strong. But they are superb. I'm really chuffed in that. I'm actually thinking about maybe investing in maybe another blue or green of that colour because they look absolutely fantastic. And that is just a quick mod on the X-Wing couple of pounds for the paints and they look fantastic and this is how we are modding things in the world of modeling so that's all i've really got to say on that matter um i've got a bit of a nice free day tomorrow so i might try and do issue eight and get that out here if not it will be at the weekend um just do the plug for the uh, facebook channel as well uh there is an official build um for the x-wing on facebook so Come along, click, and you'll see all sorts of exciting things on there too. Okay, guys, speak to you later. Bye.